everyone. I'm here today with one of my regularly occurring videos where I go back to the previous month and see what your viewer favorites were, bestsellers if you were, and I have a whole list for you. But before we jump into that today, if you're watching the day this video goes live on Thursday, October 12th, today's the last day that you can shop the Dean Davidson website with a 25% off discount code that I will put on the screen. Normally I have a 15% off code that will pop back in to existence on Friday, but just from Sunday through this Thursday today, you can shop the whole website, all of their jewelry, and get it 25% off. And I'm most excited about the most recent collection launch, the Petite Pave line. They've released it before, they've added new pieces to the collection, like these beautiful hoops, this really fun necklace, a couple other products. So I just wanna let you know about it because I have not done the best job of promoting it this week and I really wanna make sure you have the opportunity to jump on that discount code. Okay, those are some of my favorite pieces. Now let me share with you the top 10 bestsellers from September, 2023. Far and away, the number one bestseller was something I didn't even have a chance to share yet over here. Like this is so new, I haven't even used it yet because I got it right before I left for the LTK conference and I haven't really gone out much. And it is this guy. This is the, I mean look, the price tag is still on it. The time and true, well, in this case, this one's quilted, but it's the time and true crossbody. I posted in stories and then posted it as a reel over on Instagram that to me, this style and shape is very much inspired by the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. In no way is this a dupe. Nobody's gonna think you're walking around carrying a Louis Vuitton, but if you love the shape, the silhouette, the functionality of the Louis Vuitton bag, this is exactly the same, if not slightly improved. So I loved it so much, I bought it in this color and I also picked it up in the black. And I believe there are two other options. This is a pebbled leather. They both have the you know muted gold clasp, if I can remember how to open it, just like the Louis Vuitton. You push the button down, you open it up. There are two big sections, and then, this is different, there's actually a tiny little zippered section in the middle and another zipper pocket back here. And what I love, just like the Louis Vuitton, it has a big pocket, but this one is way bigger. Again, it's not a dupe, but it's the exact same size and shape with some differences, obviously. It has a much wider detachable crossbody strap. There are some faux leather accents here. It's got the same top handle. I think this is amazing. My plan is to start carrying these as soon as I leave the house to do something more casual. They're fully stocked on the website last time I checked, which is a miracle. So number one bestseller by far for September, 2023. Number two for overall bestsellers from September was another find from Walmart. And weirdly, this one seems to be in stock as well. It's the time and true soft plaid button front shirt. I don't know how else to describe it. I have it in black and white. I have it in pink and white. I know I always tell y'all to shop the links first because usually those are better stocked than what you find in your local stores. But I picked up the black and white one. Granted, I did order it online, but it was from local pickup from my store. So of course, check the links. But if you happen to be in Walmart, head over to the time and true section and you may find it. Now just know it's not the actual flannel shirts. That's a different button front shirt. These are like the really soft, blousey, almost like a viscose feel, very much like the rail shirts, another very similar lookalike option, obviously a fraction of the price. The thing I wanna remind you about the Time and True shirts here is that they do run a little bit smaller, so if you like that blousier look, you want a little extra fabric for a tuck or to wear you know, over leggings, size up one. So normally I wear a size small in Time and True and I got the two shirts in medium. So number three on the list is another Walmart find. And I assure you the entire list here is not from Walmart, but there are a lot of Walmart finds as well as a few other retailers. So stick with me. But number three is from Free Assembly at Walmart. It's another button front shirt. This is more of a cotton poplin, more crisp traditional style. I would say this one runs true to size and it seems to be from where I'm sitting. Again, everything's different. I have had it confirmed from someone at Walmart that the websites are geographical. So what I'm seeing in San Antonio, Texas may be very different from what you're seeing in Raleigh, North Carolina. So from where I'm sitting in San Antonio, it looks to be pretty well stocked across the different colors. Number four for overall bestsellers is this Western style booty from Sam and Libby. I raved about this when I first shared it with you. I've worn this a bunch of times. My original opinion still stands true. This is the most comfortable booty I've ever worn. It runs true to size 
has a zip up the side. And what makes it so comfortable is that the sole and the heel is rubber. So it's like walking around in some really nice sneakers. Obviously the price point is fantastic as well. We are in fall officially, the temperatures have dropped. So if you haven't picked up a pair of booties, highly recommend this one. And we'll be talking more about booties and shoes in general in my upcoming video on Sunday that's all about fall shoes. Number five for overall bestsellers is something that was so loved by so many, it is sold out. I usually don't share the sold out pieces. They're basically a bunch of pieces from the Scoop Scuba line. They all came in together. I think everyone was buying these two particular pieces as a set, so I think that's why it came up together, so to speak. I have been scouring for dupes for you guys because the Scoop Scuba fabric is so fantastic. They released it last year. They've released more pieces in the same line this year. So I have been scouring the internet trying to find something similar. I found stuff, but it's way more expensive. It's very similar to the Spanx Air Essentials line. So that's not gonna work as a dupe. You can't recommend a dupe as something that's five times more expensive than the original. But that's why it is so loved over at Walmart because it is such a fantastic quality for a very affordable price. So then I hopped onto Amazon to find something similar. And that's where we come to number six on the overall bestseller list. This scuba set from Amazon was something I shared with you and I hadn't even gotten it yet. And so many of you were so excited that you snatched it up as well. I'm gonna review it in depth in an upcoming Amazon haul where I can try it on and share it with you. I like the set as a standalone piece as something to swap out for Spanx or for Scoop. No, the fabric does not line up. It's a much heavier knit feeling. It doesn't feel like scuba fabric, which I have to tell you, is not neoprene. It's not like we're wearing wetsuits, but it's a very lightweight, smooth textured fabric. This Amazon set, it's more like a heavier knit. It's beautiful, I love the colors. I think it'll be great when we get, for me, into the colder weather, but can I swap out that for the Spanx or the Scoop and it's the same thing? No, it is not. Moving on to lucky number seven. I've talked about these a lot. I love them because they are white. They are reflecting light back into the camera, so they're hard to see, but these are the OnCloud 5 sneakers, and I adore mine. I would say that they run true to size, and a couple people have said, but they don't hold up well. I've worn mine a ton. It's hard to see on camera, but I assure you they look brand new. I have been talking to a few more actual fitness enthusiasts. That is not me. And they said they don't expect a shoe that they wear, I should say a sneaker, that they wear actively when they're doing active things to last more than anywhere from six months to a year. I wear mine more like a fashion sneaker or more like, you know, for walking, very easy hikes, walking on the treadmill. I'm not doing major workouts in these, so these are great for me and I expect them to last a really long time. If that changes, I will let y'all know. Number eight on the overall top 10 is this fall version, the long sleeve version of the chunky sweater and knit pant set. These are very much lookalikes for a similar set from Free People. I love the short sleeve one. I will be honest, other than for my try on, I've not been able to wear the long sleeve one because the weather is just now starting to break and it's not cold enough to wear them, but I cannot wait to do so. And I can't wait to style it with more cold weather appropriate shoes, maybe add a belt. So I will definitely be sharing those looks over on my Instagram page. If you're not already following me there, I will link it up above. On to number nine, it is this chunky, oversized, fuzzy knit sweater. I love this sweater. Again, it's something I have not been able to wear outside of doing a haul for you because it's still, you know, in the 80s here. I cannot wait to wear this white sweater and I have learned of a recent hack, recent to me, apparently everyone else on the internet knew about this before I did, but when you're wearing white or light color clothing, just spray the collar, the inside collar with hairspray and then your makeup will not transfer onto it. I'll be testing that, I'll let you know. If any of you have tried that, please let me know. Does that really work? Because that would be a really nice thing to have work. The last on the overall bestsellers list before we break out into individual categories is this kind of V-neck button down shirt, although it only buttons down to about here and then it's just a normal long sleeve shirt. I love the lightweight feel of it. I love that it has a little bit of a color. It's just a little more interesting than a basic t-shirt. I have it in black, this kind of brown color and white, and I just ordered two more in the Amazon Prime Big Deal Days. Like I said, expect a haul from Amazon to come later this month when all those pieces come in. Okay, we're gonna go to the breakout categories now, and I actually put beauty last 
because like I've said a few times, that seems to be the content and the products that y'all are least interested based on views and clicks, but I still have a lot of stuff to share with you. So stay tuned to the end for beauty. Now we're moving on to accessories. So number one, far and away was the time and true crossbody bag. Number two are these booties. These I'm gonna count as accessories. And then number three, I've shared this one with you a bunch of times. I think it is now currently only available in the black, which makes it even more versatile, I think, because it can then double as a very casual bag like this. And then you pop off the nylon webbing strap, put the chain on, and then I think you could get away with wearing this in the evening as well. So this was a very popular choice for accessories. It was number three on the list. Number four brings us back to Walmart with something we've talked about many times before, and it is this oversized faux leather. I think it's very much inspired by the Todd's shopper bag tote. It's huge, I cannot fit it in the frame. It comes in this off-white with the brown, it comes in black, and it comes in what they call a faded denim. It's not denim, it's this faux leather material. I would love to see them bring out a fourth color where the whole bag is this lovely rich brown, but it is a fantastic tote. It is an amazing quality, and it definitely looks like it's more of a designer type bag than something that you'd find at Walmart. And then the last thing I wanna share for accessories that was your favorite, it's also obviously one of mine or I wouldn't be talking about it, the most worn pair of sunglasses for 2023. I have them in black, I have them in the tortoiseshell brown, these are super lightweight, they're just plastic, polarized lenses from Amazon. The price fluctuates a little bit, but they're around 15, 18, they're usually under $20. They come in a bunch of other colors. They don't leave marks on my cheeks, they don't dent my nose, they don't give me a headache. I love them, and they're polarized, amazing. Okay, let's move over to home and lifestyle. So number one, far and away, the beautiful all-in-one hero pan. It does lots of things. It comes with a steamer insert as well. We loved it so much, we went on and bought the entire beautiful cookware line. And I will say that those pieces are even lighter than this one. And we use them constantly. They heat evenly, and my favorite is they clean up really quickly. Number two for home and lifestyle is the Better Homes and Gardens Ruched Faux Fur Throw. It looks like they've restocked those. If you're starting to think about holiday gifts, I actually am. Grab a couple of these to hand out. They are incredible. I don't know if you can hear Rowdy walking around, but it is his personal favorite, and we have two of them in the house. I would like to say they're for me, but they are for the dogs. They love them. Number three is also from Walmart, and it is the beautiful swivel chair. I really want to get this. I measured it, it's 40 inches across. It's really too big for where it would go in my family room. I'm trying to justify adding it to our game room upstairs. It is so beautiful. It comes in a gorgeous cream boucle or sort of a sage green. I want someone to get it and share it. Well, obviously someone did because it's on, many someone's did because it made it to the top five in home products. Send me your pictures. You can send them to me by email, marnie at missgoldgirl.com or you can DM me them on Instagram. I want to see this chair in your homes. I will live vicariously through you. Number four, slightly different price point, but also from Walmart, is the Better Homes and Gardens Wax Warmer. It's also a lamp, and it's on a timer, and it's on all the time, and I've switched out my scents to the fall scent, and the one I am loving right now, it's $2. It is also from Walmart. It is the Vanilla Caramel Spice. It smells divine. And then the last of your favorites for home and lifestyle bestsellers is the Time and True Dinnerware Set. It comes in a set of four play settings. I got the blue. It also comes in black. We have not been gentle with them. There is gold around the rim of all three pieces. I put these in the microwave. I put them in the dishwasher. So far, they are holding up beautifully. The blue and white option only comes in this set of dinnerware. If you like the black and white version better, you are in luck because you can buy them open stock. You can buy individual pieces. There's serveware, there's bakeware. There's accessories, so there's a lot more in the black and white. I really wish Walmart would do that with the blue and white, but here we are. So I think they are beautiful. Now, I told you we had beauty, so if you're still here, let's get into it. Number one bestseller was this beautiful palette, and I mean, even the front of it is just gorgeous. This is a MAC 12 palette. I'm wearing it today. 
This is their neutral option. There are two other shades. One's a lot warmer and one's like bright pops of like fluorescent colors, not in my wheelhouse. But I just wanna let you know that this mostly runs more cool toned and I actually added a little bit of bronzer in the crease just to bring in some warmth. It is a beautiful, very easy to work with, really blendable palette and a lot creamier than I remember the MAC shadows being. Number two for beauty favorites is this liquid blush from Tarte. I have it in the shade pink, pink specifically. There's two shades, one has another word and pink and one is just called pink. That is what is on my face. I usually wear it under powder because I add all my liquid products at once and then I do my powder products. Today, I put it right on top of my powdered face and bronzer and all that, and, I, and it blended beautifully, and it didn't lift the makeup up below it. So I'm really impressed, and if you order it on the Tarte website, I have a 15% off discount code that I'll share down in the description box. Number three, one of my favorite glosses, it's the Lawless Plumping Lifting Gloss. I have these in three shades, but the two that I like the most are Glaze and, what is the other one called? Rosy Outlook, but here's the thing. I don't really wanna put it on because I wanna talk about the next product. So let me finish talking about this and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. This needs to be applied with a very light hand. It has a doe foot applicator and you really need to scrape it off. The last time I shared this in a video, I did not. And I got those kind of gross, goopy marionette line things like strings and it's watching it back in editing I thought oh no but it is what it is it smells very sweet and delicious this is the first time I'm noticing this and it leaves the most beautiful sheen to the lips if you get one that has like the kind of metallic finish which these two are let me show you what I'm talking about after I talk about the next product number four my most worn lip product from 2023 so far it's the Chanel Le Beige's healthy glow lip balm I have it in the lightest shade which looks very bright but as you can see not so much. And I love just slapping it on. And then I will usually top it with some sort of more clear gloss, like the Dior uh, Glow Gloss, the lip oil, or the Westman Atelier Gloss. But for purposes of demonstration, I will show you with Glazed, which is my favorite shade. And Glazed, I feel like, looks amazing even on its own without anything under it. But so here's the thing, you really need to wipe it off, like just scrape away. I am not looking in the mirror. It's a really pretty sheen. Maybe I scrape too much off. It's very smooth, it's not gloopy, but if you put too much on, it quickly becomes stringy. So just be aware of it, it's still absolutely worth it. And I agree with all of you who purchased it, it's an amazing lip gloss. And then the last of the beauty favorites and the last of the favorites that I'm gonna talk about today was a set that I shared over on HSN. It is a Too Faced eyeshadow palette, and then there is a liquid lipstick that goes with it. The liquid lipstick apparently has gone on a walk without me. I don't know where it went off to. This is the palette. It's the Pumpkin Spice Second Slice, which means it is the second iteration of it. Beautiful fall colors. I'm not personally gonna wear all of them. I think it's safe to say this bright pink is never gonna see my eyelids, but there's some really nice, beautiful, wearable warm tones, a little bit on the lighter side here. It goes a little deeper. Even this green shade here is gorgeous. So lots of options and it smells like pumpkin spice. Who doesn't love that? So those are your favorites. A lot of my favorites as well, all from September, 2023. We've got some great stuff going on to share in October. So I hope you stick around to see more of what I have planned for you. I'm so excited for Sunday's video with the fall shoes, the must haves, how to style them, how to wear them. So please make sure you're subscribed. I cannot wait to see you there. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you later. Bye.